welcome. My name is Sue from Candles Off Main and today I want to talk to you about diffusers. Diffusers are a great way to fragrance your home because they provide a constant fragrance. You don't have to light them or keep an eye on them. It makes them great for bathrooms and foyers, places where you always want it to smell nice, but you can't always keep an eye on a candle. Diffusers come in all different kinds of shapes and sizes. Some candles are very beautiful, some are just more functional. Most of the time, diffusers will come completely set up for you uh, where the fragrance oil is already in the vase. All you need to do is uncork it and insert the reeds. I thought I'd show you how to set up a K-Hall diffuser because um, the oil is separate. Same with the new trap diffusers. The oil is separate from the vase you need to put together yourself. The other, thing, the other reason why I wanted to do this how-to for you is because um, I wanted to show you that you need to be careful when you insert the reeds because the fragrance oil can overflow. So what you want to do with this K-Hall diffuser, as I said, some already come with the oil in it. But on this one, what you want to do, get some strength, open up your oil, pour it into your vase, and I'm doing it over a cloth, that way in case it spills, it doesn't go onto my porous surface. It's a good idea to do it on a, a non-porous surface, maybe in the kitchen, maybe over a sink. The oil is flammable. You do want to use caution when you're pouring it in. Okay, now this one looks like it might be all right. A lot of times with the K-Hall diffusers, I'm just gonna go to there. There's still a little bit more in here. I can put the cap back on and I can save it for a later date. I can add it later. The reason why I'm only gonna fill it up that much and leave a little bit left in this vase is because when I insert these reeds, it, the volume, is, the fragrance oil is gonna rise up. Um, so just insert them slowly. Uh, if you have a vase, that's already filled with fragrance oil, just add the reeds really slowly and see how that oil does. I know on the Lenari diffusers, the oil's already in there, and if you, if you put all the reeds in right, right at once, it's going to overflow, and that's why I wanted to show you this video. So just insert the reeds slowly. The reeds are going to soak up, and they're going to absorb that fragrance oil, and that's going to help that level of um, the fragrance oil to go down. So it looks like these are all going to fit. I'm going to get them all in there. Okay, so now that's it. I mean, that's all it is to a diffuser. You just set it out, it's going to smell really pretty for you. Diffusers evaporate over time because what happens is the reeds soak up that oil and it evaporates into the air so you can smell it. So it provides a constant fragrance. Um, and by getting soaked up and then evaporating, the oil is just going to evaporate over time. Eventually, it'll be empty. Um, so they last anywhere from six months, some of them last a year. The other thing that you could do with your diffusers is if the fragrance is too subtle for you, if you have a really large space or you just like a lot of fragrance, what you could do is flip the reeds to create more fragrance. And you could flip just a few of the reeds every few days, you could flip all the reeds every day, depending on the size of your space and how strong you like your fragrances. Um, the more reeds you flip and the more often you flip them, the faster the oil is going to evaporate so it won't last as long. If you just flip one reed once a week or if you don't flip them at all, it's going to last a lot longer. Um, I have diffusers all throughout my house. I love them. I don't flip the reeds on mine because for me they're more like walking across a bouquet of flowers. It smells really nice as you walk by, but it doesn't overwhelm the room because I do have them really everywhere, even in my hallways. Every week I have gone to my garage and in my basement because it just really smell, makes things smell nice. Um, so I don't flip the reeds, but it's all up to you and how you want to use it. If you're finding that you can't get enough fragrance, just flip the reeds. That's all you have to do. And that's it. If you have any questions, um, please call us or email us at info at candlesoffmain.com. And please feel free to post a comment on our blog um, and let us know what you think. Thank you.